welcome everybody to 100% LCFC. I've got Freddie here from Southampton fanzine. Freddie, tell us your fanzine name. Yeah, so we're the Ugly Inside and uh, we're a Southampton fans channel. The Ugly Inside, go on, you're going to have to explain that one to us Leicester fans. Yep, yeah, sure. So uh, um, the Ugly Inside has been a fanzine since uh, 1988 and uh, we recently launched our YouTube channel in January and we're doing pretty well so far. We're, um, we're producing match previews, reviews, so videos such like you do with us sort of collaborating on other channels. We're doing away yeah. day films. Uh, we've actually done a series of historical videos, so sort of uh, uh, interesting facts about the club that people may not know about. I mean, yeah. for example, we, we recorded a couple of episodes a few weeks ago about the uh, stadium that could have been. So it was a stadium before St. Mary's when we were still at Adele uh, 20 odd years ago. So a lot of people actually came out and said, oh, didn't know about that. That was interesting. You know, we had people from, you know, Man United fans, a couple of other fans from other other clubs. And they said, oh, that's interesting, you know. Yeah, because, of course, St. St. Mary's is uh, pretty much identical to the King Power Stadium. Yeah, well, it's actually, um, I think it, the, the, they've got the same kind of, uh, the same group that kind of built the stadiums. So yeah. I think it's similar to uh, Stadium of Light as well. They're all kind of the same under the same sort of umbrella, really, the, uh, the construction. Yeah, good. Right, Freddie, let's talk football. Your lot are marching up to Leicester on Sunday, 1.30 kick-off. Yeah. Which which Southampton's turning up? Is it the Jekyll or the Hyde? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've knocked, you've knocked a nail on the head right there, mate. Uh, we've been Jekyll and Hyde all season, and yeah. I certainly hope it is the, the Hyde that turn up. Um, I mean, it was a Jekyll and Hyde performance back at St Mary's in October. I was there at the game um, we were I think we were 2-0 up to yeah. scored two great goals from set pieces Fonte and Van Dijk and then your lad Vardy pops up with two fantastic goals and it's sort of it, it, that, that sort of game actually kind of encapsulated our season so far I mean although it was early on but that was kind of how it went on further on the yeah. season we had we had a game uh, against London a couple of weeks ago and again really we should have won we actually dominated the game they nicked a goal sort of midway 20 minutes to go uh, to 90 minutes and uh we we only kind of uh, stole the draw really with Van Dyke popping up in the ninety third minute. Yeah, but, um, I mean you've had you know, several, you've been tanked a couple of times, haven't you? I'm thinking of Liverpool, I think in the cup, but then you've, yeah. you've done it back to other teams. So we are, you know, our debate is which, which of those Southampton sides are we going to face? Because one would quite fancy, you know, giving a you know beating by a couple of goals, and the other one would be a real tough test. Yeah, well, um, recent recent uh, games suggest it could be a real tough test. You know, we came back from 2-0 down against Liverpool last yeah. weekend. A fantastic a fantastic win, actually. Probably the best game of the season so far. Um, probably, in my in my opinion, better than the 4-0 win over Arsenal on Boxing Day. Yeah. I mean, like you, like you just said a second ago, the Jekyll, we've been Jekyll and Hyde all season. I mean, uh, throughout, throughout December, end of November, we only picked up four points from about uh, six or seven games. And the only four points was the three points against Arsenal at home and one point at home to Aston Villa. But then in January, we completely turned it around, went six match unbeaten, Forster came back into the team, went down in the history books uh, without conceding a goal. And uh, we lost yeah. we lost two after the, on, the, on the back of that to Chelsea and Bournemouth. And then obviously the draw against Sunderland. Who's going to be your men for us to watch out for then in an attacking sense? Um, well, I've, I've kind of... Pointed out three players actually for us because Van Dijk for me yeah. has been player of the season so far, absolutely you know outstanding. And at 13 million pounds, he came in the summer. He's looked an absolute steal. He put it into context. Uh, Mangala for Man City signed for 32 million in, in the summer, and he's been he's been garbage. Let's be honest, you know. Yeah. And the performances that Van Dijk have absolutely uh, eclipsed eclipsed those performances of uh, the big name signings, if you like, in the, in, the, in the Premier League. Um, aside from Van Dijk, you've got to look at the two play- players now back in form, I suppose. I mean, Mane came off the bench and scored two wonderful goals. Although he missed a penalty against Liverpool, he came on and absolutely changed the game. Uh, Wanyama also made his uh, return, but my other player at the moment has got to be Graciano Pella. Um Well, that, that's three for us to watch out. I, I love it, Freddie, that you think £13 million is cheap. We have never bought a player of that value, so... <laughs> Our, I think our entire squad was 18 million quid, so we're not quite up to your level of spending yet. So, Freddie, thank you very much for joining us. I'm going to wrap it up there. Perhaps we'll have a chat after the game on uh, next week. Good luck to your lads, but not too much luck, obviously. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Cheers, Freddie. Bye. Nice one.